Welcome back to another episode of the No Contraband Profile. I know it's been almost two weeks since the last episode, but a lot has happened. First of all, in the last episode, I got really sick and that took over a week to get better. Plus, Hypixel went down for around four days and I had no footage to edit and upload since I'd taken a break before the shutdown. So yeah, that's why I've been gone for a while, but we're back up and ready to grind the game again. So if you're excited that Hypixel is back up and running, make sure to tell me down in the comments below and boost the algorithm. Also, like and subscribe for more videos on the No Contraband series. And oh yeah, thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. We hit it a few days ago and that's amazing. We're halfway from that 100,000 YouTube award. So thank you so much. Enjoy the video. Hello, welcome back to another episode of the No Contraband series. It's been a while, hasn't it? We're back though, finally. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is quite the episode. We get a lot of upgrades in this episode, and yeah. <laughs> part of this episode was before the shutdown, and part of it was after, so there's gonna be quite a bit of difference between some of the clips and that, but yeah. So, also, I just really wanna say really quick, since I've been sick and I got better, my ears really bad right now. I can't hear a thing it's like as if you put like something in your ears and you can't hear properly that's how i am hearing things right now so if the audio is really off in this video that's why because i can't i'm deaf i'm deaf man leave me alone that's why the audio might be really bad in this episode i'm really sorry because i can't hear a thing so yeah let's just get on with the video okay so off camera i went ahead and built this pumpkin farm and i farmed it the reason why i wanted to make this is because i needed a farm crystal which i basically need like one enchanted quartz now let's buy that can i make it now there we go i got a farm and crystal and now i think i just need one block so it goes in the middle so basically what i've done is i'm doing my old setup from my old profile i'm doing four layers of minions so what i need to do is place this sort it in the middle it's like probably like right here and then on top of that block there we go so it goes in this block middle one so now this crystal is going to be able to reach all the way over all these and then another layer so it's going to go up a a few seconds less so now i've got 16 minions down and i think i've got one more slot to put one more one two three four place that there nice 17 out of 17 i basically need to wait 22 more days for another minion slot or i could work on minion slots right now and unlock it but i think it's like 20 crafts till that so that's a long way away and there we go we've got our melon minion setup going now all we need is minion slot so let's see cobblestone one i could level up a lot i could actually go for some of these new ones like cocoa bean in there so yeah how many more do i need 17 more crafts i could easily do that check can i do that Oh, I actually unlocked it already. That was the first one. Not me getting a full inventory of coca bean. Not realising. Let's put that away. And then let's get some wood again. I don't even know what tool it is to craft one. Let's see. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Alright. There we go. Easy crafts right now. So do I need... So that's level four. I think I need enchanted now through five. Yes, I need enchanted. And I think I've almost unlocked it, yeah. There we go. I'm just probably gonna buy the cocoa beans from Bazaar to unlock this, but I can now craft a few. There we go. And then let's just buy a few stacks, because they're only 30k a stack. Can probably get this to a level um eleven or ten, maybe. Yeah, because number 11 is 8 cookies, which 
I think that's gonna be like 500k then. Actually, no, I can probably buy that. Let's see. Let's see how much eight cookies is. 590k. So we might as well just get this one minion out the way. Full Coca Bean minion right there. Level 11. So we never have to worry about that again. So there we go. We just got 11 crafts out the way for less than a million. So now we've got six more to go for the next slot. Let's see. Cactus. Let's go back there and do cactus. We'll get this one, harvest and five and telekinesis. So let's unlock the minion. I think I've actually unlocked the minion. Uh, yes, I have. I'm almost at enchanted cactus green though. Let me just, I'll just get that. There we go. And now I can start crafting. This shouldn't be a expensive minion to max out. Here we go. One more. Hey, We have now unlocked our 18th minion slot. I could probably go for 20 minion slots. And that would be super easy. Place that there. With our small storage. But yeah. We have a good minion layout right now. Should be getting a few. A good bit of XP. Which is mining and farming XP. What I also need to do is buy two more super compactors. There we go. One in there, one in there. But yeah, that's that's that bit done. We've got a nice 18 minions going for us. Okay, so Paul is elected right now. There is a few... There's like a few more days. Three days until... Let's see. Three days until the election's over. Let's see who's winning right now. I think it's Scorpius actually now right let's see going off the stats i haven't seen who's winning yet i'm just gonna pick someone that i want to win i'd i'd probably go for marina gain 50 percent more fishing xp on public islands diana please don't be winning please it's so boring when diana's here barry respect to barry no why is diana back why that's that's gotta be the worst thing like diana really it literally just being diana you, you've got to be kidding me it's so boring when she's here there's like 80 percent of the whole skyblock <laughs> players can't even kill the inquisitors and stuff so i don't know i just i really dislike diana being around plus a lot of the drops are like dead in prices now because she's elected so much but yeah vote for marina vote for marina if you see this but yeah paul is around ever since my last video from doing 100 runs i have now done 26 more and i've got no drops no drops at all using kismets on all of them so before spooky is here i'm gonna fish an hour before spooky and fish the whole three hours so i've got 45 minutes to do a few floor seven runs and i'll let you know how that goes oh let's go first run <laughs> what one for all let's actually go five mil profit let's go okay so spooky it's officially started six minutes ago and let's see what bait i'm gonna be using whale bait i guess and then neck i could use this for an hour and then maybe use an hour of spooky bait and see what goes on because i literally don't know what's the best to use but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do spooky i guess let's see let's go into a different lobby all right one player lobby i'm gonna go fish for three hours <laughs> um i might come in every hour and see where i'm at but yeah wish me luck i got really bad luck on my last two with no grims so yeah oh 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 my god to this damn let's make sure we get two fragments there we go, two soul fragments. What are they worth now? What? They've gone down so much. Damn, what? 
I remember two was worth three mil. Oh my god. <laughs> two in a row. Oh god. I died, but I killed it. <laughs> wow, I, w I was a mid chicken nugget as well then. Oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Yes. Deep sea orb from a phantom fisher. Let's go. How much are they worth? I'll bet you they're worth like nothing though. Because everything's just like gone down. 3.5 mil, not that bad. Alright, so as you can see from the start, Spooky has now started. And my, my lobby's gotten full and I can't... <laughs> I have to be in a sort of like quiet lobby to fish. Preferably a one player, which is this one, nice. So yeah, I've been fishing for an hour. And this is what I got. I got a deep sea orb, four soul fragments. So if I... Let me... I've got 6.7, basically 6.8 mil in my purse. Let's just put these up. Let's see. Now let's just insta sell everything. Nice. 10 mil. We earned quite a bit. That was like over 2 mil. And then this is over 3 mil. So around 6 mil, I'd say we earned for the first hour. So I'm going to put this away and save this. Uh, hello? Am I finally seeing my home again after so long? Yo, I missed it so bad. <laughs> I missed this place so bad. Oh my god. All right, Skyblock has been down for, well, a whole of Hypixel's been down for four days, I think, or a bit longer. And let me tell you, it has been torture. <laughs> I didn't know what to bloody do with myself. Also, I'm kind of mad that Paul has gone. We finally, finally got Paul as a mayor so I could sit and grind it all day. Hypixel goes down for days and it's gone. We're stuck with Diana. You know what? I, I hate that. <laughs> I, do, I don't like having Diana here because it's boring. I can't, I can't do nothing with it. So we finally get Paul and it's, and it's gone. We get to use it for like a day and that's it. But Scorpius is here. So basically what Scorpius is, is, if you know what the Dark Auction is, basically Scorpius brings more things to the Dark Auction. So you can only get it while while Scorpius is mayor. So it's a special mayor. So it kind of brings things like the Midas stuff. That's how you can get it by getting it from this. You can also get Hegemony, which is this talisman. 185 mil the lowest is oh yeah by voting for scorpius you will gain a million coins so if scorpius wins and you have voted for him scorpius will offer you a million coins as a token of gratitude so you get a million just for voting for him and I, i've just got a message in chat saying you should sell your rare blue whale that's true i i got a um a legendary blue whale so i should sell this rare one how much are they worth? 600k. Mine's level 67. 67 right here. 1.4 mil. Here we go. Very true. Very true. All right. Well, I was hoping to grind floor sevens for handles, but it's kind of like changed. I forgot to sell my deep sea orb because the server went down from last time. 3.4 mil. Do I sell it now or wait? I'm not sure. I might, I might just sell it now. Because people are probably going to buy them now for spooky fishing. Here we go. Let's hope that sells as well because that's a free 3.4 mil. And if they both sell, that's, that's like a free almost 5 mil right there. Okay, so here's the thing. If you look in our accessory bag right here, you can see I barely have any talismans. I've got one. Not even a page full. <laughs> Not even a page full. That's something I really need to change today. It's just going to help a lot with damage and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to straight go to auction. I'm going to start off with epic to see if I don't have any epic ones. 
And also, look at this. If we keep going, this is the first tarantula talisman up there. 3.2 mil. 3.2 mil for a tarantula talisman now. They've gone up so much. I might grind and see if I can get one. What one don't we have? We don't have the... Um, I don't think we have the pig's foot, even though that's not epic. I don't... I didn't do the race for that. I didn't do the race for a few. Didn't do any races because... It wasn't working for me, but I realized it was because of one of my mods. Do I have spider artifact or the red claw artifact? Let's see. I don't have the spider artifact and the red claw one. I didn't level this up yet. But yeah, red claw artifact. Let's see the rare one. 900k. And then it goes to 5.8 mil. <laughs> so I could just get this rare one. Yeah, I'm going to get this rare one and then i'll sell the uncommon one so that is upgraded now so we got that all right we've got the bat artifact do i have this yeah i think i do have the legendary tooth yeah i do i don't have the legendary personal compactor though i could upgrade mine 4.9 mil how much would it be to upgrade mine so that's 56 blocks let's see Buy instantly, 56. Let's see how much that's going to cost. 2.1 mil. Not that bad. I'm going to buy that and upgrade my talisman right here. That's that's a nice legendary talisman right there. Let's put this here. There we go. Legendary personal compactor. Does it have all my stuff in? Yeah, it does. All right, so there we go. We got a nice upgrade right there. Another legendary talisman. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and do the races where I can get free talismans. Warp end. Now let's go up here. And I think I can get a free talisman here. So let's just double check. I don't have the pigs. Fourth, do I? I think I can get it from this. So if we start the race. Oh, okay. Give me my talisman. Pig's foot. There we go. A free rare talisman. Nice. Alright, now we go to War Park. And there's another race here where you can get a free talisman as well. I think I actually have this talisman now. I think it's the Wolf Paw one. Alright, there we go. Gotta go up here. And all the way to the jungle over here. There we go. I think now I get the hunter knife. Yeah, there we go. Hunter knife. It gives speed. So, what I suggest, if you're going to do these races, do this one first. And then this will help you out a lot in the end. Because you just hold this and it gives you extra, extra speeds. What do we get now? Wolf paw. There we go. Talisman. Now I'll just sell that. What are they worth? 900k? Not bad. Because I've already got one. Right here. So yeah, that's another talisman right there. Oh, we're selling that one. But there's also more talismans that I can get. <laughs> so if we go to Dungeon Hub now. Alright, here we go. So you go into Dungeon Hub and you go like this. You go down here. Just drop down here. Here's another one you can get. So, Guildford. Basically, they have three races. Crystal Core, Giant Mushroom, and the Precurse precursor ruins so you click to select this and i think you've got to complete four different types so here we go there's four different types of runs that you can do on each one of them i think you've got to complete it four times on each one so you've got to race like 16 times to actually get a free talisman so what i'm gonna do is choose a setting for the race so i'm just gonna select this one and you can do anything so this crystal one i think I actually don't know. Alright, so let's go down here. Is the crystal one? I think I think it's this one where you go down here. Through here. And you just stand on this. There we go. Did I complete it? Yes, I did. Oh yeah, and you also get wither essence. So now this one is no pearls. So you're not allowed to use ender pearls. Hey! There we go. So basically to get the cat talisman, 
you have to complete four out of four on like anything i think so i've just done this one so you can use anything during this race that gives you a cat talisman oh let's go it upgraded to the lynx talisman which is the rare one now i need the epic one which is a no <laughs> does it does it work if i complete three out of three on this one now not sure but i'll try it yay let's go cheetah talisman free epic talisman <laughs> let's go gg so basically all i needed to do was complete four out of four on three of these not not four or all of them i was i was a bit scared i had to do four out of four on all of them <laughs> but no it's just three so that's a free epic talisman right there all right so i now have um i have up sky crypt and if you didn't know you can actually see what talismans you're missing on there so it'll tell you what talismans you're missing and what ones you need to upgrade so <laughs> looks like i'm missing a few <laughs> and to be honest these some of these look really easy to get <laughs> okay so basically apparently i don't have the wood affinity talisman <laughs> what uh so it's you can get it from mining ten thousand oak wood i'm gonna see if it's on bin right now 200 coins you know what i'm bidding i'm bidding 10k on it i'm not bothered 10k for the wood talisman there we go we don't have that all right what else don't we have that looks quite easy to get the farmer orb let's see is it on bin no so auctions only ending soon 200k let's outbid this and do 300k <laughs> here we go and someone outbid me on the wood talisman cheek of it 20k i'm just gonna keep bidding on these because that's gonna take a long time to actually get wait do i have farmer orb i can craft it myself you know what keep your stupid 300 almost 400k farmer orb i'm gonna get this through like nothing so that what i've just nearly wasted so much on that let's see eight of these i've just got that for around 80k there we go <laughs> money maker method right here craft farmer orbs people will bid 400k on them <laughs> um you can keep that but i'm gonna bid 50k on this i want this talisman i don't want to mine ten thousand wood i really don't so i'm gonna bid on this talisman you know what this this guy will not stop bidding on this a wood talisman is he for real i think he's just doing it now just to outbid me just for the fun of it so you know what keep your stupid wood talisman i've also just realized i don't have the day crystal i crafted the night crystal but not the day one a quartz block's really still that high no they're not that high anymore so around 500k for this but it's another talisman day crystal another rare talisman okay so what i've just went ahead and done is i bought nine mineral things from bazaar which was around like let's see where is it which was 755k so that talisman was a rare talisman for 700k then i also went ahead and bought a beastmaster crest for two mil which was the rare one too and i sold my common one i accidentally didn't click record for them two talismans but yeah oh potion affinity artifact i can get so let's take where's my potion potion affinity ring let's see now i can get the artifact where is it there we go so you need this and four stacks so 32k each a stack so that's just over 100k and there we go an upgraded talisman yo i actually i have bid on a wood affinity talisman 200k and i actually got it <laughs> let's go i don't think i got this one though no chloe will you trade me 
you made that other guy pay enough you can have it the charm you were trying to buy i make them so this guy is the one i think the guy i was bidding on auction is came to visit me and said you got someone to pay 500k for it when it normally goes for under 20k so he's gonna he wants to give me it but i'll buy it so he's saying that he he sells these talismans and they normally go for under 20k and i got the guy to bid 500k so i'm gonna i'm gonna bid i'm just gonna give him 100k for this talisman i didn't know he was at my island i didn't even know this was the guy i was bidding on so go you can have 100k for this night vision talisman hopefully he accepts there we go thank you that, that's nice of him thank you how much is this worth 200k and i don't even have that all right so i bought that for 200k i can now claim my money from this 200k there we go so that's another cheap talisman and all the rest are quite expensive now so i could get the spider artifact and the survivor cube by getting to spider slayer 7 which i don't think is that far and it wouldn't take me that long tarantula so how far am i away from seven 40 000 xp which wouldn't even take that long there we go so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and get spider slayer 7 and i'll be back literally in a second all right as you can see we are 645 xp away from slayer 7 spider slayer 7 Ooh, toxic arrows nice so i've used roughly around 2 million trying to get 40k xp we got a lot of toxic arrow poison drops as well so that's good so 2 million total there you go spider slayer level 7 let's click to collect where is it there we go nice go away so we got the survivor cube let's see how much the survivor cube is worth lois is actually one mil but to be honest you couldn't use it anyway if you win the spider slayer seven we got no rng drops from that though but yeah we got a nice rare talisman there and spider artifact unlocked so i need oh god 32 tarantula silk and 32 enchanted emeralds so they are 100k each so not even that bad 3.3 mil and then 32 emeralds enchanted emeralds how much is that 38k so now i can get out this and upgrade this nice all right so i think what i'm gonna do with the 3.5 mil left over is i don't have an orb yet i kind of want to get a mana flux orb because it's gonna help in dungeons and it's just gonna help everywhere to be honest so 2.7 mil right there let's take that nice we actually have an orb now so i'm gonna place this here nice finally got an orb i've been waiting to get one of these for so long spending all that money today about 15 mil was worth it for the talismans we got and the upgrades we got good spending i think because i had like no talismans <laughs> um but yeah that's gonna be it for today if you like this video then leave a like and if you're excited that high pixel is back let me know in the comments but yeah hope you have an amazing day and see you next time goodbye